Hey, check it out, friends. Today we have the new Milwaukee M18 Fuel 14-inch abrasive chop saw kit. So in this video, we're gonna do a one-minute quick unboxing, and then we're gonna put this to the test. So let's get started. As far as the setup goes, it looks like there's not much to it. The one thing I like is that it has these rubber Nomar feet that are on the bottom right there. So if I put it on top of a nice workbench like this and spin it around a little bit, it's not gonna put a deep gouge in it. So that's first thing that I noticed. Now the second thing I noticed is that this does not come with an abrasive wheel. So you can get one from Milwaukee. I happen to have two different ones. One is a used one, another one is a new one that I picked up today at a local home improvement store. So this doesn't require any special tools to install it. So we're gonna do that while the battery is charging. And then I have several pieces of steel that I'm gonna cut with this. So let's first start out by just taking a look all around and taking some of the rest of the cardboard off and then getting that blade installed. But before you use a tool like this, especially something this big, I recommend that you read the instructions just so you know all the safety features of it because a 14 inch abrasive chop saw is a really serious tool. So let's take a closer look. All right, so I'm noticing right back here, there's a little release, just very intuitive, kind of like using a miter saw. So that's just a piece of cardboard right here that protects that from bumping against anything in the shipment. So you just raise this up. And then right here is what you loosen. So you don't even need to have a tool to do it, no wrench or anything. So to get this to lock, you push that down. And right now it's only going down a little bit. So you have to turn this right here by hand. There, I just felt that positively go in right there. So that's locked. So you're gonna need that when you go to tighten it. So right there, you just take this off right here. And then take this one side off right there. And the other half to this is held on right here with this little locking clip. So you, that's really nice. You don't have to worry about that falling off. So we'll just leave that for now. So here's two different abrasive wheels. This one I've had for a while and you can see I haven't used it a ton, but it's definitely smaller than the other one. So it will definitely wear. So the size of this one, this is 1 8 inch by 14. And this one's a little thinner. It's 3 30 seconds by 14 inch. So the size right here, 3 30 seconds. I believe that's what I read in the instructions, what they recommend. If not, I'll put something down below. So let's get this installed right here. Okay, so this just slides in here. Nice friction fit right there. Just nice and snug you don't want any play that's for sure and put that on there and then you just go ahead and tighten this so in case you're wondering if it's the right or left hand thread it's kind of cool right there it shows locking you go that direction unlock you go that direction so you don't have to second guess so you just spin it right now i'm just spinning it clockwise see how that spins so you want to lock it by pushing that in with your thumb and whenever you're doing this i recommend having the battery out There, that feels nice and snug. Try it one more time, make sure I... All right, that feels nice and snug. All right, so right now, I am ready to do some cutting. All right, so how about I show you a little more? Let's go from this angle right here. So right here, we have a wrench for storage. It's always nice to have that onboard tool right there in case you have to make any adjustments. This is a nice safety feature, so you can't just squeeze that and pull the trigger. You do have to flip that little lever over first and then squeeze it. So when you wanna go ahead and start cutting, everything's really straightforward. So you pull this back right here, loosen that a little bit, release that, and then this can freely float back and forth. Okay, so let's say we wanna cut the steel stud right here. So you just put that in there, push that up tight, push that down, and then just twist this till it snugs it up. You don't wanna really refine it and bend this. But if you have some heavier steel, you can tighten it down some more. And then right now this is set to cut a 90 degree. But let's say you wanna cut a 45 degree or a different angle, 15 or 30. So then we're gonna just release this, pull that back. And then right back here is a release. So watch this, you just twist that. If it hits that, you can lift it up, 
twist it again. It's not going to take too much. And then this whole thing will rotate right there. So you have, you have this line right here as your guide. So if I want to do 15 degrees, I have that lined up. If I want to do 30 degrees, I have it lined up. If I want to do 45 degrees, right there. So right now I have this dialed in at 45 degrees. I just made a mark on here, right there. So let's see how this works. We're going to put that right there and then flip that down and just tighten it enough that it will hold it in place. So when we go to cut right there, it's gonna hit the mark. And then when doing this, I recommend having some supports if you're going to have something cantilevered farther out like that. You may have noticed it's a little brighter out. I got my sunglasses on and we're getting ready to do some cutting. Before we do though, I just want to quick point out a couple things to look at. So I'm gonna have a lot of different angles cutting. And what I like about this chop saw right here is this lower guard right here. So you can see when this is cutting, how that does a really nice job of containing all the sparks and the little pieces of steel that could go flying. And there's a little adjustment on this as well too. So that can help you contain the sparks. So now we're just going to go through and cut a wide variety of different items that I have. First thing we're going to do is cut some steel studs. So I'll do that at 90 degrees, 45 degrees, and then I'm going to bring some other pieces of steel in to cut as well. So let's take a look. All right, let's try a 45 degree cut. All right, that went well. Completely cut that black line out from the Sharpie. Here we have some square tube steel. It's 1 8 inch thick and the outside diameter is inch and a half. Okay, so check out this light on the handle. You see it coming on here right now. That's an overload indicator light telling me to back off a little bit. All right, so here's the old fence post. I believe this is relatively soft steel. So let's just cut about a foot off and see how it goes. All right, that went relatively fast. And then we have right here, as you can see, a nice clean cut. Okay, we're gonna take two quick minutes to look at all the specs on the box. That way I know I won't leave anything out. So this is model number 2990-21HD. So you can get this in a tool only, but this particular kit includes the chop saw, includes a 12 amp hour heavy duty battery and the M18, M12 rapid charger. So this is really cool right here. The Milwaukee M18 fuel will generate 15 amp corded power. And it has the brake, which is under three seconds of stop time. It's called rapid stop. So I apologize for this sticker right here. I don't think I can take it off without peeling it off the rest underneath it. But this will cut up to 200 steel studs per charge. And the little fine print right here that says the cuts per battery is three and five eighths inch studs double stacked. So we've got an awesome warranty, five years on the tool, three years on the battery. So it's three things that come with the Milwaukee Fuel tool, the Power State brushless motor, the Redlink Plus Intelligence, and the Red Lithium high output 12 amp hour battery. Okay, so here's some important specs you're gonna wanna check out. The RPM 4000, 
the rapid stop, yes. Cut capacity is five inches. The length of the tool, 20.2 inches. The width, 11.5 inches. And the height of the tool only, because the battery sticks up a little bit, it's 16.5 inches. So the weight on this, 42.5 pounds. The wheel diameter, 14 inches. Spindle lock is a yes. Arbor size, one inch. Maximum miter capacity, 45 degree. And a tool-free fence adjustment and a tool-free blade change. Those are the specs. All right, so now I just have a couple of quick things I wanna point out after using this for a little bit. Yes, it is a heavier tool, but one thing I was wondering, there are a couple holes here, wondering if you need to screw it down somehow. But from what I'm noticing with the weight of this, it's really not going anywhere. So it's just a very portable machine. So you can lock that in place right there. And then when you go to carry it, it has this handle right up here. So if you wanna transport this from your truck to the job site, you can easily carry it. In case you wanna find out a little bit more about this tool right here, I will have a link down below to the Home Depot where you can see the current price on this and the ratings and all the other specs. Okay, so my goal of this video is to put this tool to the test so you can see if it's right for you in case you're considering the purchase of it. If you find this video to be interesting, helpful, and informative, please give it a thumbs up and help support my channel. That's it, friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time.